Welcome back everybody, my name is Caleb. Today I want to talk about the used car market. This is something that we've all really been watching for quite a while. It's kind of weird how it reacts. It's sort of like a mini house market in uh, many different ways. Unfortunately, used cars for many different reasons have been very expensive lately. However, there might be some good news. I think we've kind of rounded a corner and I think prices are gonna start getting better. I have a few reasons why in this video. Before we get too deep into this video, I got some updates to the garage. I recently bought a Toyota Corolla that was going to be my daily driver, got a really good deal on it, and I had the opportunity to sell it for more money than I bought it for, so I took that opportunity. So no more Corolla, it was a good month while I had it, but on to something different, maybe we'll look at getting a truck or something like that. Not really sure, but the Corolla does not exist in the garage anymore. Also, if you guys like this type of content with cars, I got a lot of stuff going on with the Corvette on the channel. If you could leave this video a like and smash subscribe, that would be wonderful. Love you guys, now let's get into the video. So the used car market has more or less sucked for the past couple of years. Used cars have been getting more and more expensive and it's just not a good time to buy. And unfortunately, sometimes you're put in the situation where you need to buy. Maybe your car blew up or you put too much boost through your turbo and now you have to pay the price. Whatever the situation is, it's a tough time to be a buyer. And if the new car market is not any better, actually it's worse. The last video I made kind of covered that new car market and all of the crappy things that these dealers are doing, upcharging cars, upcharging specialty cars, and just putting a crazy large price tag on things and unnecessarily price gouging the consumer. Now I made a whole big video on that so I'm not going to get too big into the new car market right now but I just want to talk about how we're rounding a corner here in the used car market and I believe it's crashing. Let's take a look at our first piece of data here. This is from CarGuru, a very popular uh, automotive selling platform. As you can see on this chart here, cars have started to come down in price. Now it breaks up here between all the different types of manufacturers. Different types of cars are gonna react different to the market. Some cars are still holding their prices pretty steady. However, some are dropping a couple percent. Now, unfortunately, if you look at that year over year number, it's still pretty high over the last year. So still not the best time in history to be a buyer however we are rounding a corner now if you look here you can see that the used vehicle value index is falling now that's good this is one of the biggest falls we've had in the past year unfortunately when we zoom out at the entire graph that's only a small piece of the used car market that's ticking down when you take a look at a three four five year time span this might seem a little bit insignificant however it's the biggest drop we've had so far now something similar has been kind of happening in the housing market and there are a couple reasons why I believe that the used car market is starting to tick down. The first one is that I think that people were just asking crazy high amounts for their car and they really weren't expecting to get those but they thought hey the market's good let me ask triple what I think this car is actually worth and hope I sell it. Eventually people are starting to come to the realization that they're not going to get triple the value of their car So they're starting to bring down their prices to a realistic price point Another reason why I think these prices are sort of going down is because people are now starting to pay the price or feel the effects of the down market that we've been dealing with for a little bit of a while. Paying all that more money in gas, in rent, whatever it is, is starting to catch up to people and they just don't have the money to spend on a new car or a used car. So the sellers are forced to lower their price if they actually want to sell the vehicle. The demand is just not there as much because people just don't have the money to spend. If you're spending double on gas, groceries, insurance, rent, all that stuff, then you don't have the money to get another car. So this kind of brings up the big question, will the car market ever come back down and make it reasonable for buyers to get used cars? In my opinion, yes. Every single market in the world goes up and down and fluctuates depending on many different factors. I'm no economist, but I've worked in the car industry for a while and I'm also an accountant. So I understand money and trends a little bit. But personally, I don't expect to be finding steals across the board for quite a while. However, there's still some things that hold true about buying a used car that I think you should follow. First off, there are still always deals out there. No matter the market, there's gonna be a deal out there. There are many ways you can find these deals. You can find maybe somebody who needs to sell their car ASAP, or you can find a vehicle that is kind of damaged that maybe you need fixing up a little bit. You're gonna be able to get a vehicle that needs new tires, a new battery, and new brakes way, way cheaper than you can get one with all those amenities. Maybe you have some value that you can add to the vehicle. Do you have some sort of technical knowledge? Maybe you know how to change brakes in a battery. You can use that to bring the price down and you can do that yourself, thus saving money in the end. From my experience buying and selling cars, some of the best advice I can give you is to not 
need the vehicle right away. Don't put yourself in a situation where you absolutely need to buy a car that day, that week. You need to take your time with this, learn a little bit about the cars, understand what your car you're looking for is going for, and then once that deal pops up, be ready to capitalize on it. I know it's hard sometimes, but try not to be an emotional buyer. Emotions will make you spend way more money than you need to, and it's not a smart financial decision. I know sometimes you're put in a pinch. I've been there too, where you need to do something that day, and unfortunately, you're paying a premium for that. So take your time, don't get too attached to a certain deal, be ready to walk away if you have to, and learn about the cars. That's gonna be all for this video, guys. I hope this helps you save some money and buy some cool cars. Please feel free to browse the channel and check out the library. Hope you all have a great and amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.